Welcome to the spoken tutorial on fluid pressure and flow. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate fluid pressure and flow fed simulation. Here I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 16.04, Java version 1.8.0. To follow this tutorial, learner should be familiar with the topics in high school physics. Using this simulation, we will demonstrate change in pressure in the presence and absence of atmosphere, change in pressure in various fluid densities, Bernoulli's principle, calculate the pressure at the bottom of the tank, observe the trajectory of a fluid, use the given link to download the simulation. I have already downloaded the simulation to my downloads folder. To run this simulation, open the terminal. At the prompt, type cd space downloads and press enter. Type java space hyphen jar space fluid hyphen pressure hyphen and hyphen flow underscore en dot jar and press enter. Fluid pressure and flow simulation opens. Interface has three tabs. On the left of the screen, we have three buttons. On clicking each of the buttons, a different underground tank opens. Let us click on the first button. Screen opens with a faucet and a tank. Click and drag the faucet slider to fill the tank with water. Observe that an outlet is provided at the bottom of the tank to drain the fluid. Drag the slider to drain the fluid. Drag and place the pressure gauge in the tank to touch the fluid. To expand the fluid density box, click on the green plus sign. Observe that the fluid density slider has three different fluids. Drag the slider from gasoline to honey. Observe the change in the fluid density as we drag. In fluid density box, we can edit the values from 700 kg per meter cube to 1420 kg per meter cube. Click on the red minus button to close the fluid density box. Click on the green plus button to expand the gravity box. Observe that here a slider is provided to change gravity from low to high. The slider is at earth. As we drag the gravity slider, observe that pressure changes. Gravity's value can be changed from 1 meter per second square to 20 meter per second square. Click on reset all button. Drag the faucet slider to fill the tank up to the brim. Note that once the tank is filled to the brim, faucet slider becomes inactive. Select the grid box to show the grid lines. Drag and place the pressure gauge on the 0 meter line. Here, observe that atmospheric pressure is 101.325 kPa. Click on atmosphere of radio button. Value of pressure is 0.0, .0 kPa. Click the atmosphere on radio button. This indicates that pressure is measured in the presence of an atmosphere. Next we will measure pressure in different fluids. We will make a tabular column for fluid density, depth and pressure. To take the measurement, drag the pressure gauge to 1 meter. Note the value in the table. Similarly, drag pressure gauge to 2 meters and 3 meters and note the values. I have noted the values in the table. Drag the slider towards gasoline. Observe the change in pressure as we change the density. Drag the pressure gauge to 1 meter to measure the pressure in gasoline. As an assignment, 
नोट द चेंज इन द वैल्यूज ऑफ प्रेशर फॉर द गिवन वैल्यूज ऑफ डेप्थ एक्सप्लेन योर ऑब्जर्वेशन क्लिक ऑन रीसेट ऑल बटन लेट्स डेमोन्स्ट्रेट द चेंज इन प्रेशर एज द टैंक्स शेप चेंजेस क्लिक ऑन द थर्ड टैंक बटन An underground basin opens. The basin is divided into two compartments. Observe that there are three weights on the left of the basin instead of a faucet. One 500 kg and two 250 kg weights. Under units, click on Atmosphere's radio button. Observe the value on the pressure gauge. It has changed from. 101.300 kilopascal to 0.9998 atmospheres place the pressure gauge in the right compartment of the basin touching water observe the value on the pressure gauge select the grid check box place 250 kg weight in the left compartment of the basin observe the change in the water level in the right compartment continue to add 500 kg and 250 kg weights to the left compartment as we add the weights notice the increase in water level in the right compartment this demonstrates the principle of hydraulic lift we will now explore flow tab select the flow tab to open the screen in this screen we have a water tube and end pipes Each end pipe is provided with three handles. Height of the pipe can be changed using the upper and lower handles. We can click and drag the middle handle of the end pipe to move it up and down. We can control the flow rate by dragging the flow rate slider. Now select flux meter check box. A blue colored ring along with a yellow box appears on the screen. This box displays the value for flow rate, area, and flux. Using the flux meter, we can calculate the total flux entering a given area. Drag the flux meter through the pipe. Observe that blue ring changes its size to adjust the size of the water pipe. As we drag the ring observe the value of flux that is passing through it The amount of flux passing through the ring depends on its area Uncheck the flux meter check box Select friction check box Observe that the flow of dots slows down Using the red dots button we can insert black dots into the fluid Click on reset all button. Let us uncheck the dots check box and click the red button. Drag and place speed meter in the water pipe. Similarly, drag the pressure gauge and place inside the water pipe. Drag the pressure gauge and speed meter all along the water pipe. Observe that values of speed and pressure remain uniform. This is because the flow of water is streamlined. Click and drag the handles on both the sides of the water pipe to change its shape. Observe the change in the speed and pressure in the turbulent flow. Let us increase the flow rate to maximum. Drag the speed meter towards extreme left. and observe the speed to be 3.5 meter per second recall that speed is a scalar quantity blue vector represents direction of velocity drag the pressure gauge and place it on the speed meter observe that the pressure is 115.896 kilopascal drag another speed meter from the tools and keep it in the first wider region Notice the change in speed and velocity in the wider region. The speed has decreased to 1.4 meter per second and the velocity vector has also decreased. 
drag and place pressure gauge from the toolbox in the first wider region. Observe that pressure has increased to 121.528 kPa. Here we can say that as pressure increases, speed decreases. As an assignment, observe the change in speed and pressure when fluid density is changed to gasoline and honey. Click on water tower tab to open it. In this screen, we will calculate pressure at the bottom of the tank. In this screen, we can see a faucet and a water tower. On the faucet, there are two radio buttons. Manual to start the flow of water and match leakage to stop the flow. On the right side of the screen, select the measuring tape checkbox. Adjust the measuring tape to measure the height of the tank. Note the value of the height. Click on the fill button to fill the tank completely. Place the pressure gauge on the inlet of the tank to measure the pressure. Note the value of pressure at the surface. Let us solve the given numerical. A tank of cubical shape is filled with water to a height of 10.42 meter. Find the pressure exerted at the bottom of the tank. The atmospheric pressure is 102.3 kPa. Density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube. Take G equals to 9.81 meter per second square. Click and drag the pressure gauge to the bottom of the tank. Observe that the pressure at the bottom of the tank is 198.1 kPa. Calculate pressure at the bottom of the tank using the formula P equals to P0 plus H rho G. Substitute the values from the numerical into the formula. Notice that the value of pressure is converted to Newton. The required pressure at the bottom of the tank is 204.5 kPa. Now we will compare the calculated value with the observed pressure. Notice that pressure in the simulation is comparable to the calculated value. Solve the given numericals. Click on Reset All button. We will see the flow of water by changing the position of the hose. Click on Fill button to fill the tank. First, align the hose with the orange slider. Open the orange slider. Drag the hose up and then down. Observe the trajectory of flow of the fluid. Here, as the depth decreases, trajectory of the fluid changes. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have demonstrated Fluid Pressure and Flow Fed Simulation Using this simulation, we have demonstrated how pressure changes in presence and absence of atmosphere. Pressure in different fluid densities Bernoulli's Principle Calculated the pressure at the bottom of the tank. Observe the trajectory of the fluid. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries on this forum. This project is partially funded by Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya, National Mission on Teachers and Teaching. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Himanshi Karvanje from IIT Bombay. Thank you for joining.